Hello friends, in this video we will discuss a question from Anthropology 2022 mains and the question reads primate social organization. So there are many doubts as to which how to write this question as uh, it is not directly asked from the syllabus and if you think about it this question is in the syllabus. Uh, for example usually a civil services mains anthropology paper will contain a question on the biological anthropology or primate behavior so they will uh, have a question on that but uh, and in the cultural part if you look at it there will be a social group social institution uh, so these two will be asked as separate uh, now what UPSC has done is that they have asked this in an integrated fashion that is primate social group so if you think about it whether this is uh, possible to write or uh, what are the examples that we can quote uh, i can uh, very well say that from the things that you have read from the basic books you can write this question very well i will give you a uh, few examples as to how to write this question for example if you think about it uh, the primate social organization the first thing that should come to your mind is the chimpanzee and if you think about it chimpanzees are a uh, group of uh, group of uh, primates who live in a band so this is what uh, jane goodall uh, one of the famous scientists uh, she would have found out in her uh, primate behavior uh, analysis and 2020 question paper anthropology if you have looked at it they have asked specifically jane goodall's uh, pri uh, primate or, or the contributions of Jane Goodall and uh, what important contribution was this this was uh, one thing that she found was uh, pri uh, that uh, chimpanzee primate live in a band and they have this kind of a hierarchy not like a human hier uh, egalitarian band which we uh, talk about uh, like in the Bushmen or the, something like that or in the basic uh, hunting gathering tribes but uh, in the pri in the chimpanzee band the a hierarchy will be so high that there will be a one leader will be there and that leader will have access to all the resources in the group and once that leader is uh, pushed down and uh, the other uh, another person will come up and if you look up uh, look at it many of the dictators that we found in or we find in this world uh, be it uh, Muhammad Gaddafi or Saddam Hussein you can make an equation of this and that is what so social organization and it is actually very much closer to human social organization organization of a band and uh, but that will not be the only example that you can write rather you can think about also gorilla and uh, the examples that I am quoting is basically from the major primates the topic which we have uh, in paper one major primates and uh, the major one of the major uh, primates of an example is that gorilla and if you look at it the size of the gorilla and uh, the male gorilla will be uh, uh, very uh, huge and this there will be huge sexual dimorphism that is the females will be a little lighter than the males and uh, what kind of social organizations that they can have that we can quote in the examination is that see gorilla will live in an harem harem means there will be many women and the chief gorilla or the male gorilla who happens to be the most strongest will get the many of the uh, many of the women in that group and if you think about it this has a close resemblance to the human uh, society that we live in this uh, normal world the male which has the highest wealth will be occupying or will have the access to many women and that is something which you can overlap and this is kind of example what example uh, or uh, the social organization what example you can give is that you can give about polygamous marriages human society has polygamous marriages or polygynous in specific terms polygynous that is marrying many women one man marrying many more women but uh, in you have to equate it to gorilla but uh, you should not stop there there are many other examples that you can write one more example is gibbon so now we talked about an organized uh, or primate organization uh, social organization which was uh, in a, in terms of marriage uh, they were having a haram but in gibbon if you look at it they are monogamous they are like uh, if you think about the the uh, so in human society you can think about many of the movies in which uh, the hero or romeo juliet 
or uh, the stories or titanic jack and uh, uh, or rose or these monogamous pairs of uh, bonding which happens between two human beings which is uh, uh, overly exaggerated in the movies that you can look at it in gibbons gibbons are a primate organization where they live in uh, this monogamous relationship and but you can see you can write many other primate examples also because the answer in upsc understand this as many illustrations and examples and uh, correlations and integrations you are making you will get a higher score uh, one more example you can go back in the primate ladder there is also one topic called as primate taxonomy the primate behavior that i am describing is basically from the ladder of the primate taxonomy in that if you look at it you can go for uh, old world monkeys Uh, in the order that i am going old world monkeys so what can we write about old world monkeys that is that see not exactly like a human organization social organization like kinship uh, does exist in this old world monkey but you make a correlation in the examination saying that old world monkey because see old world monkey uh, that every day in uh, or most of the people in india would have seen these uh, uh, langur or this uh, common monkey that we see in the uh, in many of the places you know so if you look at their uh, band or group of tribe of population they will have a close knit family something like that but uh, even if you are not correlating with the human kinship uh, like lineage and things you can actually go for something called as grooming or see you can talk about grooming what is that grooming means see human beings have this uh, habit of uh, grooming each other you know so if you look at uh, friends they groom each other similarly Well, monkeys will groom each other uh, they will remove the see biologically the necessity of this is removal of ticks but if you think about in a cultural fashion what scientists say is that this grooming is a, a, it, it is a stimulant so once an uh, animal grooms the other animal it is actually making a bonding uh, in gibbon we were talking about this monogamous relationship between uh, male and female but here you can talk about the grooming which happens between uh, two females or males in a sense this is kind of a friendship building so it is kind of a kinship building it is kind of a social organization that is what you have to write and you can talk about other uh, uh, other organisms for example prosimians you can go back in the taxonomy and you can talk about prosimians these what what can i write about prosimians is that see social organization in india or in western society many of the societies or in many of the instagram reels you might have uh, thought about or uh, seen something called as single being single or uh, this is one kind of thing but uh, which is not in the syllabus but you can think about that these prosimians prosimians who were in the or who are uh, nocturnal they will actually be uh, more of single that is uh, when they have to mate they will mate with each other but uh, mostly they will be uh, roaming around in a uh, normal fashion but uh, that is not the only thing you can talk about you can also talk about uh, in a sense social stratification see there is a social organization once social organization is there social stratification will be there the example which i gave in the first beginning uh, you can talk about uh, the chimpanzee uh, social stratification which is very very uh, very very high in a sense it is more stratified than the human society but in human society also there is a lot of stratification in the second paper you would talk about class caste or uh, gender and uh, the race based classification and the stratification but in primate social behavior what can i talk about if you think about it in primate behavior there is a uh, one person primatologist who is called as the franz b wall and he is uh, he is equivalent to not equivalent Jane Goodall is a very uh, senior primatologist but Franz B Wall is also one of the most prominent primatologist in the world and he has made this experiment of primates uh, uh, behaving you see when there is an incentive in the society humans uh, do a uh, work economic work so that is why we get this salary and uh, uh, gifts and things like that he noticed a very similar behavior in primates uh, there is a video of that experiment also in the net and i will put it the, uh, put that video you can check that the one on the left is the monkey who gets cucumber the one on the right is the one who gets grapes 
the one who gets cucumber, note that the first piece of cucumber is perfectly fine. The first piece she eats. Uh, then she sees the other one getting grape, and you will see what happens. So she gives a rock to us. That's the task. And we give her a piece of cucumber, and she eats it. The other one needs to give a rock to us. And that's what she does. And she gets a grape. And she eats it. The other one sees that. She gives a rock to us now, gets again cucumber. <laughs> she tests the rock now against the wall. She needs to give it to us. And she gets cucumber again. So this is basically the Wall Street protest that you see here. So if you think about it, as Adam Smith would have said, or this formalist economist would have said in anthropology, this primate you can think about as an economic man. That is, you, you are incentive. So once a person is incentivized, that person behaves in a particular economic way is the formalist view of thinking. And a similar behavior is noticed here in uh, Franz de Waals experiment. And you can include social stratification, formal economic, economic man, and you can make a connection between all these things and the human society. But if you think about it, these are all uh, the primate social behavior that I explained and many more things things are there but uh, what I would suggest is that uh, a series of illustrations based on the syllabus which has been given and uh, these are all things which we uh, already learn in anthropology and uh, you can conclude by saying that see these are all primate social organization but it is not equivalent to what uh, the human society has you know in terms of for example religion or political organization or in terms of you can talk about in the conclusion saying that uh, these are all social organization, but humans have social institutions. So we have this well-defined roles and responsibilities. We no longer have the social group where there is a chaotic behavior between people. No. So we have the social institution. So that is how you uh, have this uh, uh, logical development of primate uh, uh, evolution you can talk about. And... Uh, I hope I made this question clear. There are many other questions, so I'll try to make uh, more videos on anthropology uh, as per the time available. But uh, if you had liked this video, please do like it, share it, and subscribe to Minds of Aspirant channel. And also, there is a Telegram uh, link or Telegram group uh, in Minds of Aspirant is there, and uh, an anthropology uh, uh, Telegram group is also there. You can join there and you can ask your doubts. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Have a good night.